Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I just want to say a disclaimer. Any advice or views given on this video are my personal experience. If you decide to work on your vehicle, it's at your own risk. Always consult a professional. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Uh, anyway, bad news. All right. The, the truck did have a small engine fire. Um, unfortunately I had to return it to stock. Um, all the Kenny Bell stuff had to come off. I had to put in a, I had to put in a stock wiring harness for the motor. Um, I also had to change out the fuel rail. Do you smell where I'm going with this yet? Um, pretty much what happened is. The supercharger sits right here in this area. There's a crossover tube that goes to the other side over the kegger um, where the throttle body would mount to it. So what happened was when they sat the supercharger down on the engine, it, it pinched the line, the fuel rail. And um, when I got a hold of it, When I got a hold of it, of course, I didn't inspect the fuel lines, all right? Always, 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 rule number one, when you buy a vehicle that's been sitting for an extended period of time, um, check these things, you know? Make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy, um, because you never know, um, Yeah, so you see that pinhole, the fuel the fuel line ruptured. Of course, it leaked right back to where the distributor is, which is back there somewhere. Of course, a distributor sends sparks to the spark plug wires. Um, and you could imagine what happened after that. This whole area caught fire. This whole section from the other engine harness melted. Um, unfortunately, the candy bell has a bypass valve in that area, which basically bypasses the boost. Um, it's vacuum actuated. It's plastic. It melted. Some of the candy bell wiring was also run through that loom there. That also melted. Um, and unfortunately, Kenny Bell wants to charge a very expensive rate to get those parts done, mainly because they're discontinued. Um, yeah, I will find those parts. I mean, I've already found that, um, the lightnings, the 5.4 lightnings, some of the parts used on on those superchargers are very similar to to what Kenny Bell used on on these kits. So I uh, got the better fuel rail. These are made out of metal. Uh, these come off of a '98 and up, versus these cheap ass plastic ones that forever for whatever reason Dodge used on ninety some '96s and '97s. Um, I also had to change out the, the main line that goes down to the fuel rail, to the fuel, to the, to the frame where the line comes from the gas tank. This right here, this line goes all the way besides the transmission down to the fuel rail under the truck. Um, that was fun. Uh, I also got to get in here and fix these headers. They are leaking. The valve, the gaskets are shot. Um, that's a project for another day. What else am I gonna do? I gotta redo these control arms. The bushings are junk. The ball joint, ball joints are shot. Um, I got a whole set I already rebuilt. They're right here. 
Yes, I did tack weld them on. Um, just for good measure. But brand new ball joints, new bushings on all the lowers and uppers. You can see there. Um, I might get a video of that. Uh, let me know what you guys want in the comments. Um, I have been wrenching on these gasser second gents for a little bit over 15, I want to say almost more than 15 years. Um, I love these damn trucks. What can I say? Uh, another thing I did is I picked up this um, Mopar body kit. I found the steps in Kingman, Arizona. These uh, these bed skirts actually came off of Buddy Mine's SST. They're emerald green, as you can see. He wrecked his truck and sold me the the bed pieces. That was a few years ago. Uh, I left those in the attic for when I ever found one of these trucks. My dream was to always own one of these. Now I do. Now let's just get it restored, you know? Another thing I got to do is get rid of this dash. I do have a replacement. I'll show it to you in a moment. I did replace the seats. I got to get rid of that center console. I don't know if I should do a um, a fourth gen center console. Or just replace the the lid on that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you can see the seats are clean. Um, I also washed the carpet. I pulled everything out, washed the carpet. But yeah, this dash, it'll come out. It'll get replaced. Um, if you own a second gen, get yourself an MT2500. Um, with these troubleshooter chips, this thing has paid for itself many times over. You could individually test injectors. You could individually um, check every single sensor in the truck just by running that scanner. It's amazing what that thing does for a second gen. Um, yeah, that being said... This is the dashboard. Do you guys recognize that dash bezel? Um, if you do, it came out of Chris Canado's The Brick. Uh, world's fastest second gen Dodge Ram truck. I think he's doing three seconds, four I don't know. Um, shout out to Chris. Thanks for getting that over to me. Um, he posted it on uh, on his page for sale, and I got the highest bid. Um, but you can see this is the dash, nice clean dashboard. Um, no cracks, no nothing. Just got to swap in the harness and put it in the truck. I will not be putting it in with with that uh, dash bezel. Um, the horsepower alone is. I got to do a lot of updates to put that dash bezel in my truck. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you want to see in the comments. I got to change the dash. I got to do exhaust, some exhaust work on the headers. I got to do a front end rebuild. Um, I got to crack open the, the differential and check the fluid. I haven't done any of that. But... um yeah. See you guys later.